Hello friends and welcome to a new vlog. This vlog is going to be a little bit different because this is going to be a what I spent in a week vlog living in Las Vegas. So I saw this comment come through to do a video like this. I believe it was on my video of what I'm spending my money on right now that is not makeup because I am primarily a beauty channel but I've been talking recently about being overwhelmed by all the new makeup releases, how much money I'm spending on makeup, just what my apartment looks like with so much makeup that not only do I receive in PR but then I also buy. And so I did a video talking about, you know, just the different things I'm spending my money on and someone commented and said it would be interesting to see a video like this of what I spend in a week. So I've done a few of these videos over on my TikTok. I've done like what I spend in a day in Las Vegas. So I thought it'd be fun to do one for YouTube, take you through my week vlog style. People find it interesting, especially living in a city like Las Vegas, of what someone who is local to here now actually spends their money on. So that is what today's vlog is going to be. So today is Monday, September 5th. So it is uh, Labor Day. So I'm trying to take the day off work as I'm filming this vlog, but we do have where I live, we do have some social events. So I'm about to head up to that and it does include food. So what I did on the TikToks for what I spent in a day was I also um, divided out my monthly rent and then I put that for the daily, so I think that's gonna be the same format. I don't really have a ton of big plans this week, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Wednesday is what would be my wedding anniversary, so I'm hoping to be able to, you know, hang out with my girlfriends. Last year I went to Nacho Daddy with some friends to just kind of take my mind off things, so I'll probably be going out to eat at some point this week. Um, maybe a self-care day, so that might be interesting. Like I might book myself a massage or something like that. So, but really I don't have any big plans for the week. Football starts, so I'll be watching a lot of football. But I'm just gonna take you through my week and again, kind of focus it on what it is that I'm spending my money on. So I hope that you find this interesting. I think it's gonna be fun to do it in the YouTube format as well. And yeah, I'm about to go head up. It is super hot in Las Vegas this week, so I think I'm gonna change into like a tank top actually because it's so warm out, but I am gonna go up and get some food. And again, all of that is included in my monthly rent that I pay here at the complex. We get the social events that includes food and drink as well. So I'm gonna head up and maybe show you around a little bit, show you what I'm eating, but I hope you enjoy this vlog. If you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and let's jump into it. So we're going to wrap up Monday to see what we spent money on. So I'm going to include a daily figure that includes my rent, um, my utilities, and my electric. That's what I see most people do. I often, I don't really see like cell phone or internet or things like that included. Um, so I just did those three things and then I divided that by 30 for the month of September. So that equals $93 a day that will be included each day that I do this. But yesterday I really didn't spend too much money. Uh, I went to the event here that was hosted by our complex. There's no extra fees with that. That's also included in our rent. And I really just spent a lot of time at home. I did some work. I just read a book on the couch with my dog. Um, I packed some orders. I did work on a video and I did pay my editor for that. So she was $30 a night. I ordered food, but <laughs> I, for whatever reason, I was really in the mood for manicotti out of, I don't even know the last time I had manicotti, but I was like, I really want manicotti. So I found a place on Uber Eats that had manicotti and two hours later, still did not have my food. The Uber driver was Ha like nearly to the state line of California. So clearly she like missed the exit. I contacted Uber, so they actually refunded me the money. So it would have been about $35 for the food and like the fees and everything, but they actually ended up refunding me. So my dinner was free, um, which was 
great because it also really wasn't that good. It was like the saddest looking manicotti I've ever seen. I ate that and I did have a Dr. Pepper, which I don't drink soda a lot, but I was not feeling well yesterday. And after that, I just walked my dog and came to bed. So my grand total of yesterday that I spent was $123. $123. And now we'll jump over to Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. Today is a Tuesday. It is September 6th and Aries and I are about to run to the post office. I need to drop off some orders that came in through my brand by Smith March and then we are going to run through Starbucks because we deserve it, don't we? Yeah, you worked hard this weekend. Yeah, you're a good girl. So this morning I just got up. Uh, I walked Aries for just a little bit because it was already 90 degrees at like 8 o'clock in the morning, which is we're having like a crazy heat wave in Vegas right now and then I just did a little work on the computer I got my video ready to upload later this afternoon and did my schedule things like that I'm to decide if I am going to film today or just take some time off my wedding anniversary what would be my wedding anniversary is tomorrow so just been kind of having a little bit of a harder time and this morning I let myself sleep in I got up and I just you know it's just, it's a hard week. Last year was definitely a harder. Um, but this week I think it's still not going to be super easy as well. So that's why we're going to treat ourselves with Starbies. And um, it's going to be a good day. But I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself to film if I just feel like I'm going to cry the whole video. Um, you know, I'm trying not to put too much pressure on myself to edit and just be able to have a little bit more of a chill week. So that is, that's my goal. But first stop, matcha lattes and a pop cup. Can I do a grande iced matcha latte with coconut milk? And can I do two pumps of raspberry and the sweet cream cold foam? Gotcha. And then just a pup cup, please. You got it. Anything else? Nope, that'll be all. All right, 740. Thank you. We got our drinks. So I've been having a matcha latte once I realized after the elimination diet that coffee really bothers my stomach. Um, coffee and garlic is what I found out through the elimination diet that was making me sick. With garlic, after cutting it out for 30 days, I still get like acid reflux if I have it, but nothing to the point where I was before where I was vomiting at like every meal. I had so much internal inflammation. But with coffee, the first time I had it after, it was probably 45 days I cut out coffee, uh, I broke out in hives along my chin. When I got home, my whole side of my chin was in hives. I was like, oh boy. So I was on a salted caramel cold foam cold brew kick, cold brew cold foam kick, but I've switched to the matcha lattes. I do coconut milk um, just to try to cut down on dairy. Like it's a very small way to cut down on the dairy um, but I still have like the cold foam in here again it's like the little things um, and then I also do two pumps of raspberries so I'm just going to enjoy my Starbucks for a moment and head off to the post office and decide how we're gonna how we're gonna tackle this day babe as long as I got you as long as I got you girl Well, I was just sitting here minding my own business and then I got an alert that the Natasha Denona Dream Collection is available now as an app exclusive on Sephora. So of course I'm buying it. <laughs> um, so I'm getting the My Dream Eyeshadow Palette that's $69. I'm also doing the lip liner at 24 and I chose to do the lip gloss at 27. I just worried that the lipstick is gonna be too light. Like I'm worried the lip liner is gonna be too light too. I'm gonna do these three things like I looked at my loves list and I was like, I should do the summer Fridays and I should, and I'm like, you know what? I wasn't, ex I was, I thought this was releasing tomorrow. You can pre-order on the Natasha website or it's the app exclusive here. And I'm like, you know what? I just, I'm trying not to buy things like just really like without thinking about it, just being like, ah, oh, you know, gotta buy this. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to buy these three since I was planning on buying them anyway. I'm just going to do standard delivery. The like fast delivery still says same day as standard so i'm just gonna do the free so my total after tax is going to be 130 dollars and five cents for tasha is on its way to me i also my got my starbucks and that was seven dollars and 48 cents 
Pup Cupper's free, which is nice, but my matcha was $7.48. Already a little bit more of an expensive day than yesterday. For lunch today, I just ordered from the restaurant that we have on property. I got a steak and cheese sandwich. I usually just eat half of it and then save that for leftovers. And I ordered some onion rings with ranch. I'm just gonna drink some water. And this was $28. I just went up to the restaurant to pick it up myself. You know, some days I like wanna eat healthy and some days I want a steak and cheese sandwich with onion rings. And today, it's just one of those days. All right, I am just getting ready to eat dinner and I just made dinner at home tonight. So I bought this um, like frozen jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. You just put it in the microwave for like three minutes. And I added in some shredded chicken. Like I buy this from like Target, just like the pre-cooked shredded chicken. And then I added some spinach and I really like these crunchy nudes. And then I'm gonna add some of my yum yum sauce to it. And I just have water and then a smoothie that I am still drinking. This has just a bunch of veggies in it and such. And then I have some grapes and strawberries to try to balance out my meal. So I am just going to get a little reading done. She's also just had her own dinner if you heard her drinking her water. I've been filming all night. I filmed three YouTube videos and I was in the middle of filming the last one and I looked at the clock so I was like, well, I feel like it's getting dark outside. It was seven o'clock. I was like, wait, how did it get to be seven? So I'm like, oh my goodness. But dinner tonight is just everything that I already have in my fridge. I'm trying to eat a little bit more balanced tonight since I feel like my meals the last few days haven't been the best. So trying to balance it out. I try to throw spinach in like anything that I can since you can't really taste it a whole lot. But I just love me a good chicken rice bowl, salmon rice bowl. And now that I've found like everyone talks about this Trader Joe's um, like instant rice. So I'm like I gotta try it out. I would say this is a success. I'm just gonna relax and eat my dinner and then walk areas and hopefully get to bed then. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety about tomorrow, especially because I'm not posting a Will I Buy It video. Um, I got a little bit of filming done tonight. I filmed for my members only video, which was a palette bingo. And then I was just kind of like, you know, I'll see how I feel after that. But I just ended up um, filming just a few like shorter videos, reimagining the Tarte Man Eater palette. And then I just did a face palette ranking, which was a pretty short video as well, and one my editor can do. And I was like, I just, I just don't feel in a really chatty mood. My Will I Buy It videos are more chatty style videos, and I just, that's just not how I'm feeling with the anniversary coming up tomorrow. And I kind of just want the day off to kind of, I don't take off from the Will I Buy It's all that often. So when I do, it's like a big deal, and tomorrow is a big deal. So I feel like. Just gonna honor that by just taking the day off and not feeling pressured to post and be on my normal schedule and just, you know, just, we'll just be okay with it. We'll just be okay with it. So yeah, so I'm just gonna eat and then, you know, probably go to bed a little bit early tonight. All right, well, I am just getting ready to go to bed. Aries is here. Um, I took Aries for a walk and then I went and got some tea. So we just have like a little tea coffee area up in one of the offices, so this was free. But I just have the Juniper Mint Honey. I'm trying that out at nighttime to see what I think of it. I'm gonna read a little bit of my book, drink my tea, and then I do a little bit of gratitude journaling at night as well. But that was it for my Tuesday. So I thought I could go through and add up everything for today. So we have the $93 that we're doing daily. My Starbucks was 748. I bought the Natasha Denona products for 130.05. My lunch was $28. Dinner was everything here. My tea is free. I went to the gym. That's included in my rent as well. Block dairies. That's all. That's all that we've done. So today's total is 258.53. 258.53 is what I spent in a day on a pretty regular old Tuesday here for me. So yeah, I just took my makeup off and I'm just going to relax before heading off to bed.
right. Hello. Well, happy Wednesday. We have made it to the day. Um, it's like two o'clock and I just got out of the shower. I woke up at seven with Aries like I normally do to um, give her breakfast and let her outside. And I posted in like my Facebook group. We have like a daily prompt every day that people discuss on. So I did that, checked my emails and then I was like, I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm just not really feeling it. So, Aries and I laid down till 9.30. I didn't necessarily sleep a whole lot, but I just kind of chilled and just sat with my thoughts a little bit. Um, and then I was gonna get up and shower and then meet my friend at 11.30 for lunch. And I even like turned my shower on. I always dry brush before I shower, dry brushed. And then it was like, nope, turn the shower off because I was like, I don't know, something about a shower I feel like is very, can be very like cleansing, cathartic. And I was like, I think I'm just going to um, cry in the shower and I don't have time for that right now. I don't have time. So I turned the shower off and just put clothes on, brushed my hair, put a hat on. And then I ran out to meet Andy for sushi. So um, my friend Andy, she is a Las Vegas blogger. She is so fun. Went to this new sushi place a couple months ago in Town Square where they have like the revolving sushi belts and you can just come in and you just start grabbing and you just get charged per plate. It's so good and I love that you don't have to like wait at all. I did not condition my hair, I just shampooed it because I have this little travel size of the K18 uh, hair mask and I really like it but you, to use it, you don't condition your hair and then you just shampoo and then you come out and you put this in and then you just leave it in for a few minutes um, and blow dry your hair. That's why my hair looks so snarly because there's no conditioner in it. So we were invited there to create content when they were just opening their new location in Town Square. So we went and it was super fun and then they actually ended up giving us a gift card to come back so that is what we use today. So I went to sushi and again, it was a free lunch. We left the tip this time, so it was a free, free lunch for me. But it was so fun. It was just nice to laugh with her and she's so sweet. She bought four of my books. She texted me before I left and was like, I wanna buy your books. And it's just so cool to meet so many people out here. It just truly was exactly what I needed, so really grateful for her and afterwards i was really sad because i was in town square las vegas which is close to the strip but it's a really nice little shopping center they have a lot i mean there's clothing stores there's a whole foods there's a container store which i almost went into but they also have an alta beauty and i've been really wanting the new stuff from milani the like liquid contour and um the under eye brightener so i popped in i was like well i'll just stop in at alta and grab it they didn't have any Milani. Like, I was like, am I crazy? Is Milani not sold at Ulta? And I looked it up and it looks like it's just, at least around here, only sold online. They have absolutely no Milani available in any of the stores close to me. I was like, well, that's disappointing. So I didn't get the Milani stuff. I'll have to order it online if I really 
decide that I want to get it, but I was like, I don't know, that'll just be like a fun little, oh, you know, I'll just pop into Ulta and like browse around, and then I was like, well, I'm over it. Like, I just very immediately was over it. Um, it's so hot. My car clocked 113 as I was driving home, and I need to go to like a Walgreens or a CVS or somewhere to grab more bubble wrap for these boxes I'm putting together. I was like, I just don't care. I just want to go home. So I came home and finally took my shower and just let myself have some feelings. I'm just going to let this hair mask, you have to let it sit in for four minutes and then I'll blow dry my hair. 22 inch extensions. It, uh, it's no quick task, that's for sure. So far on the what I've spent today, um, a whole bunch of nothing. I'm on my way up to the restaurant of the complex because the girls are doing our fantasy draft. So, have my shirt on, have my pack of pants on. I don't know what I'm, I've never, like, I haven't done a draft in like six years and I'm pretty sure I did it with my ex-husband. So I have my laptop, I have a notebook, I have Starburst, a pen and a highlighter. I don't know, I didn't study it all for this, I don't know who I'm drafting, probably most, mostly Packers. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. Football season! Good morning. So it is Thursday, uh, we made it through yesterday. It wasn't my best of days, but it's fine. Um, I feel like I spent most of it just kind of like blankly looking around. I read a lot, I laid in bed a lot, but you know, um, it is what it is. We made it through another, what would be anniversary. It was my second one and um, I'm glad to move on. I did not sleep very well again, which is a bummer, but I, when I got up, I was very motivated, so that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I feel, feel ready to make some moves today. So, um, yesterday for what I spent, I don't think I spent anything. Um, my lunch, we had a gift card, Andy took care of the tip. Uh, I went to the draft, the draft is just with my girlfriends and like, just mostly for us to have something to do and talk about so it wasn't it didn't cost like anything to enter into our draft like you don't win anything or anything like that so it's literally just for fun and then we had pizza there but the complex was providing food for people that were doing drafts so i had a bianca pizza and that was it so i did not spend any money yesterday besides i'm including my like rent and utilities which Utilities is a little higher right now. I got an email from Nevada Energy yesterday saying like, please continue to keep your air conditioning at like 78 to try to help conserve energy because we're in a crazy excessive heat warning right now. But looks like today is gonna be the last day. It looks like after today, it drops down to like being at the high of the 90s. Can you see Aries? Aries, where are you? Oh, there you are. You can say bye-bye. So it looks like the highs will be in the 90s. I know that's still really warm, but at least it's not this like excessive heat where it just makes you feel lazy. Like I need to run out and do errands today. And I should have done it yesterday, but I was just like, ugh, especially after going to Alta and like the Milani wasn't there. I was just like, ugh, I'm so over it. I don't want to do anything else. So today I do have to run out to get some more bubble wrap. So got to do that to finish packing these boxes and then I'm also gonna run to Trader Joe's. I need to stock up on some fruits and veggies. I need to do some like meal prepping. Um, I'm really upset because I was like really going really well at doing meal prepping and eating better. And then after the whole situation happened with my tooth, I, it just kind of like went downhill. And I'm just still really upset about how all of that went down. 
but I need to get back on it and then uh, I also need to run to the pet store to grab some food for Aries. So I'm gonna run out and do my errands. But yeah, yesterday, $93, that's all I got. And it's interesting to me when I like do these vlogs, I feel like during the week, I'm like at my apartment a lot. I'm working a lot. I'm working on myself a lot. This morning, I didn't show my morning routine just because it's pretty much the same every day. Like get up, skincare, walk Aries. I did yoga, I did my ab exercises, my stretching drink water, kind of tidy up a little bit, and that's all. But sometimes on the weekends, I'm a little bit more interesting or I spend a little bit more money or whatever. But with football kicking off this weekend, I'm probably just gonna stick around here and Packers play on Sunday. So I don't know, I sometimes I feel like when I vlog, I am i don't have like the most interesting of lives and I, pe I feel like people think that I do. <laughs> but I'm pretty just, I'm just pretty normal. I like to sit in my apartment with my dog and read and I love my job. I love working and it always keeps me really busy. And then every once in a while when I pop out, like I pop out and I have a good time. But other than that, this is usually where you can catch me. So yeah, that is my day. I'm just going to fill out my, um, my planner for the day actually because I do have a meeting today. So I need to make sure I don't forget about that and just hang out. Me and Aries. <laughs> Did you get a peanut butter Kong? Oh. She got the peanut butter calm. She's special. Oh, hello. Today has been quite a day. I ran out to do my errands and Aries needs dog food. And I don't know what is going on with her dog food, but I've noticed for the past few months, it's been incredibly hard to find the kind. And last month I was like completely stumped. So I like went within the brand and the same kind of like lamb and rice. It was just a little bit of a different kind but she had an upset stomach for about five days and I was like, great. And then she's about out of food again. I mean, I just spent literally hours driving around Las Vegas trying to find her dog food. I finally found it nowhere close to me. I also spent some time researching, like I have to switch her dog foods. Like I can't, I don't know what's going on but the Purina Pro Plan, which is she's been on forever, it's just out of stock all the time, everywhere. Like, I can't even get it on Chewy anymore. Like, nothing. So, I don't know what's going on, but that was really stressful. So, oh, I just feel like I've been in my car all day, and it's so hot. <laughs> and gas prices are so high. I'm like, fantastic. But um, I went to Trader Joe's, and I was really sad because they didn't have everything I needed either. So, I probably should have gone to Target, but... In trying to find her food, I was like, my salmon is going to go bad. It's 109 degrees. Like, I can't just keep driving around. So I came home so I could at least drop off groceries, and I had lunch. And then I had to take a business call. And then I went back out and went to another, I think it was four, like, Petco's and Pet Smarts until I finally found her dog food. And everything says it's in stock online. Like, I'm looking online before I go, and everything's like, yeah, we have it. And they don't. So that's just been so stressful. So I still don't have a few things that I would like for groceries, but, but I forgot that we have a resident event tonight where they feed us like, I'm like really grateful we get food through the complex because sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what to eat. And it's like, oh, you just walk down there and they got food for you. And it's, you know, included in our rent. So we just get to go down and have food and drinks, so I'm like, thankfully there's food tonight. But I'm just giving Aries her peanut butter treat right now, and then I'm making um, just like a rice cake with some peanut butter on it, and then I melt chocolate, do some sea salt. It kind of helps curb my mega sweet tooth that I have. Because right now I either want like ice cream or like I have a bag of M&Ms, and I'm like, no, just do something else. It's not necessarily like great for you, but it's better than the other options I would be having. So I'm melting the chocolate right now and then I would really like to do a face mask because I'm breaking out because I just started my period. So would love to do a face mask but then I was also thinking about filming today. 
even though I don't have to, but some days, the, the days where I don't have like a video going up tomorrow where I need to get it done right away, I almost want to film because I just feel like so much more relaxed and chilled. <laughs> but I need to figure out, I have quite a few videos um, that I have on my list that I want to film. I just gotta see like what would make sense to me. But I was kind of thinking like I wanted to do my makeup tonight and look cute, but now I'm like, I just don't know if that's gonna be the vibe. I'm really stressed about her dog food, but I'm taking her into the vet. Hopefully next week, I'm waiting to hear back. Ask them if they have like good recommendations for her breed. And I was doing a bunch of reading online today too. And I feel like I saw some like good options. I just, I would like to talk to the vet. It's weird, like one of those things where it's so stressful being alone because Mitch really did so much with Aries and food. Like he was, he would research a bunch of the ingredients. So if I ever had like questions, you know, I could always run things by him. So it's, I don't know if I'm just, you know, in a weird mood um, since our anniversary would have been yesterday, but it's just like, man, these are times where it's, it's so nice to have like a partner to, to be able to talk about these things with. Um, I just pop this in the freezer for a few minutes until the chocolate gets hard. That's why I would at least like to talk to the vet and just see what they have to say. But I'll have to pull my receipts tonight or later because my receipts are like scattered everywhere. But I've def definitely spent money at Trader Joe's, the Dollar Tree, because I went to CVS. They didn't have any bubble wrap, so I went to the Dollar Tree and then got her um, her dog food. So yeah, I must have a little snack and then figure out what I'm doing with my day before I head down to watch the game. I'm so excited football's back. At least there's that. Good morning. So today is Friday. So it's already nine o'clock. So I've been up for a hot minute. Uh, on Fridays, I take my dog Aries to daycare. So I dropped her off around seven and then I got in a pretty long walk. It, it was still hot. Our excessive heat warnings are supposed to be done as of today, but we'll see. Um, so I got about 5,500 steps in this morning on my walk and just caught up on a few like video chats with my friends and that sort of thing, listened to a podcast. And then I showered and I'm heading into the office now, but I am going to, I would like to make myself a smoothie because I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna make a couple smoothies and then I'm gonna head up to our gym for reformer Pilates. So for my workouts, I like to do yoga Monday through Thursday mixed in with my ab workouts and I just do them here at home and then Friday, Saturday, I try to go up to our gym and do the reformer Pilates. We do have classes here, but I feel like so often the classes, like on Fridays, they're not until one o'clock and I usually do film on Fridays. So I'm usually filming around that time. I, I just found some videos and I just kind of do it myself and I don't mind doing that. So that is what my day is gonna be. Like I said, I'm hoping to film, my Natasha Denona collection was supposed to get in yesterday. So I was planning to film with it and then it did not come in and I got an email like really late at night saying, oh, your order is delayed. And I was like, well, obviously. So that's a bummer. Now it's saying it's coming today. So if it does, I'm hoping to film maybe just like a full face of new makeup with that collection, but we'll see if it actually does come in. But I realized that I went up to our restaurant last night and for whatever reason, I tend to forget a lot to film up there. I don't know if it's just cause I'm around so many people and I just am like having a good time, but I just went up, I filmed a video and then ran up there to watch the second half of the football game. And then they did have food provided as well. So I just had some chicken nachos. So yeah, that was all included. But for what I spent yesterday, um, I went to Starbucks and spent $8.34. I noticed that when I go through the drive-thru, it's only like 7.48. And when I ordered on my app, it's 8.34. And I ordered the same thing. So now I'm curious. I want to just pay attention when I go through the drive-thru to see what it is they're not charging me for. Um, because I thought it was interesting that those prices weren't different. And then I ran to Trader Joe's and spent $25.72. I love that Trader Joe's is just, I feel like I can buy so much there and spend so little and it's fabulous. I went to the Dollar Tree for bubble wrap. I spent $5.42 there. 
And then I went to PetSmart, finally found Aries Food, which was $45.50. I had my leftover pizza and then dinner was included in the rent, which is the $93. So my total was $177.98 for Thursday. Not too bad. Nothing too crazy there, I don't think. Kind of a wild day yesterday though with the Queens passing. I was in the Trader Joe's parking lot when I saw it and it just, I don't know, it made me cry, which I don't know if I should feel silly about or not, but it just, I don't know if I want to say caught me off guard, but I did have a good time up at the restaurant. The nachos were good. I'm excited football's back. I walked Aries at night and was able to get my, I tried to get my 10,000 steps in, so got those in. And yeah, today's hopefully gonna be another productive day. Fridays are kind of like my reset days, especially with Aries at daycare. I like pick up the yard, I like clean and sanitize like her bowls and her little area that she has. Um, I usually just try to clean up like my kitchen and that sort of thing. Um, a lot of times I'll not necessarily like meal prep on Fridays, but it's that thing of like my child's at daycare. Like I just feel like I have more time. So I'm gonna make some smoothies. I wanna make a chia seed pudding. And then I got some ingredients to make this like carrot and apple juice thing. It's supposed to be like great for your skin. And I am on my period right now, so I'm dealing with like a really bad breakout on my chin. So I thought maybe I could attempt to make that as well. And then I think I wanna make like salmon and sweet potatoes for lunch. I always look forward to my Fridays, not because I don't have Aries here, because I like hanging out with her, but it's kind of like the day where my routine is a little bit off and I try to just get some more done around the house, but also hoping to film because that would be great. I don't have any plans for tonight, so I'm not sure what I'll do. I actually have no plans for the weekend. Besides on Sunday, I'll obviously be watching football all day, but other than that, nothing has popped up yet, but it's Vegas, you never know. I'm gonna pop up at any time. I was gonna make some salmon for lunch, but I forgot I had some chicken in there that was probably like on the last day. So I just made another chicken and rice bowl. I have some grapes that I am eating and then a soup. A little bit of reading. That's all, just a little break from my day. You happy girl? So I'm just making dinner. It's about 7.30. Domestic goddess. I picked up Aries from daycare. I was trying to figure out how much I pay for her daycare because she's a member there and which I have to pay an annual fee but then I do buy her um, packages because it's cheaper to buy like a daycare package. I never know how to cut sweet potatoes and it stresses me out. I want to say maybe for a member it's like $37 a day or something like that for daycare or something along those lines. So that's what we're gonna say there for her day at daycare but i just picked her up and then i was working on doing some um editing i'm really sad because then once again it said my sephora order was going to come in with my natasha denona collection so i was like okay and i kept checking on it and it kept saying will be delivered today and i was like okay and then at like 3 30 it was like will be delivered tomorrow i was like i guess i should have seen that coming so i didn't film today but I did edit. I have a members only video going up tomorrow. Doing some other admin work just on my computer, just chilling. And I took Aries for a walk because it was actually not super, super hot. So took Aries for, I know some people are like hating watching me cut a sweet potato, but I'm not the best in the kitchen. I'm also brand new to sweet potatoes. I didn't even, I did not start eating them until I was going through the elimination diet. And I just tried them and I was like, wait, I actually really like these. So 
Tonight I am just making uh, my salmon and just some sweet potato fries like I had mentioned earlier. The Aries for a walk since it's not quite so hot. I'll probably take her on wood more because I'm only at like 9,000 steps for the day and I do want to get to 10,000. I think I'm just going to go to bed early. I'm still just kind of feeling very blah. Um, you know, I walked by the restaurant at the complex and I saw some of my friends in there and I was like, should I stop in? And I'm like, I'm just like, you know, it's just been a not the best week and I just feel kind of like ugh and just socialization seems like a lot <laughs> so I'm like you know what I'm just going to there's a documentary on the queen that I want to watch so I'm just going to watch that and just probably go to bed early I'm taking Aries to the vet in the morning I do that early in the morning so I'm like you know what it's fine um I think it's actually a good amount of fries I think for the rest of this I'm going to cut it up into little chunks and then maybe tomorrow I might like a like a snack with the sweet potatoes i like to do just some oil and cinnamon and i think those are really good so i'm going to cut the rest into like these little discs and save those for tomorrow but i'm just going to make the potatoes in the oven and my salmon in the air fryer and just have a nice little chill dinner everything from my fridge so dinner is free so iowa iowa state plays tomorrow so i'll definitely be going to our pool or at least the restaurant or something to watch it. It's, it's like the Super Bowl of Iowa, so I'm very excited about that. And then Sunday is football, so I don't know if I'm actually even like gonna go out anywhere this weekend. I'm gonna just be all around here, but I definitely don't mind those weekends because next weekend, Nellie is here, and I'm gonna go see Nellie. And there's actually like a lot of talent here because life is beautiful is here so then a lot of like those same djs are like going to the club so i have a feeling next weekend i might be like ow ow and i thought this was two pieces of salmon but it appears to be only one so i'm just gonna make the whole thing i don't know if i'll be able to eat it all but if not i'll just have like some leftovers i could throw in like a rice bowl tomorrow or something and on it i just put some dijon mustard salt pepper and paprika and i'm just gonna throw it into the air fryer for i don't know maybe 10 minutes you have to flip the fries at some point as well Saturday. Aries and I just got back from a little walk, but I have to. We only walked about 15 minutes. Um, but she's going to the vet this morning, but I at least wanted to get her out. And then right as we were coming home, it started to rain, so perfect timing. Uh, looks like it's going to be kind of much cooler today, which I am excited for. Um, but we also have some rain moving in, so hopefully it's not too bad because her vet is a little bit of a drive. So. I am just going to take, I take these, um, I really like these turmeric shots. Like I, oh, what's your name, baby girl? You want some turmeric? I actually like these. The no joke ginger shots are really, really intense, but the turmeric, I don't think it's bad. I just like to have a little something in my stomach because I am planning to take her to Starbucks after uh, her vet appointment. So one thing, I'll probably eat a banana as well. Um, one thing that I tried to change when I was going through like health issues, gut issues, digestion issues was to stop drinking coffee on an empty stomach. I either try to have a tea, a juice, um, a juice shot, banana, toast, just something. I'm not a big morning eater um, and I haven't been for a while, but I try to at least, you know, before, before it was like, how soon can I get? Starbucks and that would be the first thing like sometimes I wouldn't even drink a lot of water Like I always keep a water bottle by my bed now and I try to drink a full glass of water Like I start before I even get out of bed while I'm doing my skincare routine I'm drinking water So I try to have a full one drink as well and then just drink as much water throughout the day So that's just something I've been trying to do but cheers. I just get these at Trader Joe's I also take uh, St. John's Word Plus in the morning my naturopathic doctor did describe did prescribe a few like natural supplements to me for uh, mental health because i've been really struggling with mental health for a little bit so i just take this in the morning also you gonna be able to cry today oh you are okay let's go take your eye out
All right, well, <clears throat> we just got back from the vet. I did not wrap up yesterday, so I think the only money I spent yesterday was just on her daycare, which I said I think was probably equals out to like $37 each time so with my rent and utilities that's a hundred and thirty dollars not not a very crazy day i was in bed watching like the documentary documentary about the queen at like 10 04. so pretty chill day on a friday today i woke up i walked aries and then we had her vet appointment and i walk out to my car which is parked in the parking lot of the complex and i can tell that someone hit the back of it there was something like hanging off of my car which caught my attention and I was like what and you can see like my back end is all scraped up so that's really frustrating um not sure what happened there so I now have to figure out I don't even know how to file an insurance claim but I have to figure out an insurance claim I have to figure out if I need to walk up to the office and tell them or if I can find like an email for them because I don't know if we have cameras out but my friends were all like did anyone like is there anything on your car like someone like put a note on your car that was like hey this is me I'm like no no one did that like I'm no that's frustrating so I'm gonna have to figure that out it's not anything like terrible damage but still like who just hits a parked car in a parking lot in the complex where we all live like i mean i'm just like what in the world so yeah that's definitely frustrating that appointment was pretty expensive it was four hundred and forty dollars and 45 cents so it's pretty pricey definitely gonna be the most expensive day but you know i just would feel better i just want to be sure there was one lump she was a little concerned about so i just i would feel better just knowing and we did go to Starbucks and I got charged 872 I feel like it's just always different everywhere I get the exact same thing for some reason they also gave Aries two pup cups I'm not really sure what was going on there but they gave her two pup cups so she's all excited I'm just gonna do a little bit of work and then I'm going to head up to do reformer Pilates I'm just gonna see if there's any class but I'm just gonna run up to the gym for a little bit I'll probably take her on another walk because the weather is so nice right now it was it rained a little bit on my drive but nothing too bad I'll try to figure out this car situation first because so frustrating Everyone. All right, so we've made it to Monday. So I owe you a few totals of the week. Here comes Aries because she knows she owes you too. Come on up, girl. Get up there. Say hi to your friends. Say hi, everybody. So I actually did not do any like real vlogging on Sunday. I've been trying to take weekends off, especially Sundays. And now that um, football is back, I'm really like really trying i think i filmed like a few clips though of, of what i was doing but saturday we had starbucks and we had the vet appointment so then i just did some filming and then i went down to the restaurant here to watch the iowa iowa state game iowa state won. i was very excited about that and i did have just a salad down there but i had a gift card we have uh, trivia every other week here, and if you win, you get a gift card. So I still have some on my gift card, so I just grabbed a salad and a water. So that was uh, free because I have such fantastic trivia skills. And then Saturday night, uh, we had a little barbecue with friends here at the complex. So after lunch and the games, I came back here. I just edited videos. I filmed a video. And then at night I went back out to the pool and one of my friends works for like a food company. So oftentimes he gets like really big 
meals for free and then we have these barbecues where everyone just like brings aside so um i brought cheeto puffs that's my contribution and i feel like everyone really enjoyed them one of my friends actually took the rest of the bag home with her so clearly the cheeto puffs were a big hit um this is why i'm always invited back to barbecues and to potlucks because i bring the best food obviously but that was just from my um pantry so that was free that's my dinner and that was really fun to just be able to chill be outside again it's not so hot out right now my friends were there a couple and they had friends in town and they said do you want to come out with us tonight to the chateau nightclub which is at paris on the strip they're like we're only gonna go out for a couple hours like basically like get these friends set up it was three couples that were in town and then he's like then we're gonna go and i was like well as long as it's not gonna be a late night I'll go and he said we're we'll leave at midnight and we left it was like 12.06 we were walking out of the club and I was like this is great so we did that it was free to get in uh, my friend had set up a table with a bottle service and all of that but I was just kind of tagging along so uh they he wouldn't even like accept like a tip money from me or anything like that so I did have one salad of uh, vodka cranberry at, at the club so that was it though, and I I was, you know, I was just kind of like a guest there, and I didn't want to be like, A, I didn't really want to drink a whole lot. <laughs> I knew Sunday was going to be a long day, and um, wanted to get some good sleep, but yeah, I went out and had one drink, but that actually didn't cost me anything either. A little, little bit of dancing, but that was a free night for me on the strip, which isn't unusual, but that was that. So for Saturday with my $93 a day, my $8.72 I spent on Starbucks, my $4.40.45 for Aries. The total cost for that day was a $5.42.17. So definitely this one is a little bit more expensive, but again, we're hoping to get results back at the end of this week. And then yesterday was, football kickoff so for a lot of my Sundays I just spend here at the complex we have a really nice TV out by the pool we have multiple TVs in the restaurant and um, my friends the same couple who I've been able to grow like quite closer with over the past several months actually went with Ashley to Hawaii is I stepped in her husband's place who couldn't work at or who had to work at last minute and couldn't make the trip for the wedding um, so they said that they started something last year called the breakfast club on Sundays with a few other people who live here and someone goes out and gets breakfast sandwiches for everybody and this just kind of rotates throughout the month and you just watch all the games and everyone else is gone all of the other guys that are in the breakfast club and the other wife um they were all gone that weekend so uh it was just us doing it so again my friends said we'll go out and get the breakfast sandwiches so i think i'm i will be on breakfast sandwich duty next week so i'm trying to decide you get to like pick whatever place you want to get the sandwiches from that was free that was free for me free um it was more like brunch we ate probably at like 11 o'clock and then we actually do have brunch included in our rent on sundays so then i went up and just got like a few other things like potato like breakfast potatoes and things like that but again that's included we get drink tickets on a sunday as well included in our rent so i had a few different drinks that day to help get me through the football game and i just stayed at the pool the whole time we had red zone on the packers played at one o'clock they lost so i was just like in a bad mood after that so i didn't really do much after that um i watched the second half of the football game the night football game here at home i just had leftovers once again i was just just wasn't in a great mood when my team loses but it made for a pretty inexpensive day i mean between my friends covering the breakfast and then we had everything else included in our rent and i didn't leave the complex that was all that i did so sunday is just a 93 dollar day so nothing uh nothing super crazy on sunday it was a very chill day like i said i was trying to take off work and just live my life like have a i've been really trying to get back to having a work life balance so that's what i was trying to do there and then i was just kind of in a bad mood so but i'm excited football's back i'm sure the packers will bounce back with the bears this week i'm sure it'll be fine um but i'm just excited that football is back and that it's a lot cooler here like already i was able to take aries on a decent walk this morning because it's just so much cooler I'm excited to spend time out time outside going to the pool on sunday 
was like the first time I've been even in our pool all summer. Like I've just been so busy and I've just had so much going on. And then I've just been wanting to stay in my apartment. Like I have not even been to our pool, which is actually a really nice pool. So it was fun to be able to do that. I feel like this week was, you know, definitely more of a challenging week between like some mental health struggles and the anniversary of my wedding. Um, obviously I still have some tooth stuff going on. I do have to go into the dentist this week again because something is still off with the bite on the crown that they put in. So, you know, that's a bummer. I feel like overall it was a pretty chill week, but it's also a really realistic look at my life. I work a lot. I put a lot into my career. I put a lot into myself, self-care time. I put a lot into my dog. Um, but then, you know, something pops up on the weekend. My friends, hey, you want to go to Chateau? I'm like, okay a pretty realistic week in my life living in las vegas but also with the inclusion of what i spend that's gonna be everything for this vlog i hope you enjoyed seeing a week in my life and also a little spin on it of sharing what i spend in a week if you want to see more videos like this definitely let me know or just if there's anything else that you want to see along these lines i love being able to do stuff like this and i think that's fun to share what my life actually looks like i think people have a lot of ideas of what it looks like living in las vegas even my friends friends that i met on saturday they were like, you guys live here. Like, I always wondered what it would be like to live in Las Vegas. But like, it's pretty normal. <laughs> like, it's pretty normal. Every once in a while, you know, we make it down to the strip and do something fun. But for the most part, especially if you put in a lot of hours or if you're an entrepreneur or something like that, a lot of your time is spent working or if you have a family or a dog or anything like that, obviously you're gonna be putting a lot of focus into there and not going out every single night. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. I, of course, would love to get your feedback. As always, though, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. We hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. <laughs> and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.